Hello everyone, this is Mr. Mood here, helping you do better in math by giving you tips and tricks on how to revise and also going through topics and revision. Okay, now today we're going to look at indices. So we're going to look at uh, the seven different rules of indices and we're also going to have a look at some examples. So let's start off with uh, rule number one. So rule number one is a to the power of m times by a to the power of n, the same as a to the power of n plus n. What that basically means is when we actually multiply, uh, we add the powers. So let's have a look at an example. So if you have a to the power of six times by a to the power of four, so we're going to add the powers together. So it's going to give us an answer of a to the power of six add four, which is a to the power of 10. Okay, let's have a look at another example. You could possibly have uh, b to the power of 10 times by b to the power of minus three. Now in this case, we should be very careful because we're negative there. So it'd be b to the power of 10 minus three. So we're adding a negative three and that will give us an answer of b to the power of 10 take away three is seven. Okay, if you have two negatives, so look at another example, uh, a to the power of minus three times by a to the power of minus three. So that will give us a to the power of minus three minus three, which is a to the power of minus six. You could also have uh, examples in terms of numbers. For example, if we have two to the power of five, times by two to the power of six. And the question asks you to write down the answer as a single power of two. Then we're going to write it as two to the power of five add six, which is two to the power of 11. Okay, uh, that was the multiplication rule. So when you multiply, we add the powers. Okay, next. So rule number two is when you divide, so if you have a to the power of m, to the power of a to the power of n, we divide, we take away the power. So that will give us a to the power of m take away n. So let's have a look at some examples. Say for example, we have a to the power of six divided by a to the power of two. So what we're going to do is we're going to take away two from six, so be a to the power of six take away two, which gives us an answer of a to the power of four. Next, I have another example, a to the power of say eight divided by a to the power of, this time we'll cut a negative one, minus four. Okay, just be careful there. So what we said, we divide, we take away the powers. So it'd be a to the power of eight, take away minus four. So we take away minus four. Now, if you looked at the video when I did the other subtracting negative numbers, you know from there that we have two signs next to each other, we times them, and the sign will change to one of them. So two negatives, the sign's the same, therefore we're going to turn it into a positive. So our answer is going to be a to the power of eight plus four is 12. Okay, uh, let's have a look at one more example using numbers. So we have, say for example, in num using numbers, we have five to the power of six divided by five to the power of three dividing, take with the powers. And if the question says, write the answer as a single power, of five, so it'll be five to the power of six, take away three, which is going to give us five to the power of three. Okay, now, rule number three. So rule number three is when you have, when you raise a power, so we have a to the power of m to the power of n. So we're raising a power. So we have a power and outside the bracket, we have another power. 
Uh, in that case, we're going to multiply these two powers. So b a to the power of m times n gives us m n. Okay, let's have a look at an example. So we have, for example, a to the power of 2 to the power of 3. So we're going to multiply these two numbers. Okay, so be a to the power of 3 times 2 is 6. a to the power of 2, let's look at a negative, to the power of minus 3. That will give us a to the power of minus 3 times 2 is a to the power of minus 6. Or we could possibly have 5 to the power of 2 to the power of 3. That will give us 5 to the power of 6. Again, if the answer a question says to write it as a single power, you're going to write it as a power of 5. Rule number 4. So rule number 4 is negative powers. Say, for example, we have a to the power of minus 1. Then we're going to write it as a fraction. So it would be 1 over a to the power of 1. And a to the power of 1 is the same as writing just a. So it would be 1 over a. Okay, so let's have a look at an example. Okay, so we have, for example, a to the power of, say, a number 5 to the power of minus 1. Then that will be written as 1 over 5 to the power of 1, which is the same as writing 1 over 5. If we have 5 to the power of minus 2, then we can write this as 1 over 5 squared. Now you realize that this power goes on top of the 5. So because we have a 2 here, it's going to be 5 squared, but it changes the sign into a positive. And we simplify that, that will give us 1 over 5 squared is 25. Let's have a look at another one. b to the power of, let's use a number, 7 to the power of minus 2. That will give us 1 over 7 squared, which gives us 1 over 49. Okay, that was rule number 4. So if you have negative power, we write it as 1 over. Rule number 5. Okay, so we have a reciprocal. So I'll write it down here. Now, to write something as a, a reciprocal, we write it as 1 over. This means that a link to the power of minus 1 is a reciprocal of something, a letter, a number. So we have a to the power of minus 1 is 1 over a. So similar to the one rule that we looked at before. Okay, you could also get a question like, for example, um, we, we might have uh, a. So they might ask you to write down the reciprocal of a, which is 1 over a. Okay. Or you can write it as a to the minus 1, which is 1 over a. Okay, so that was reciprocal. So make sure you familiarize yourself with this keyword. So if I say, what is the reciprocal of b? Be 1 over b. What is the reciprocal of 5? That will be 1 over 5. Okay. So that was rule number 5, which is reciprocal. Rule number six is going to be powers of fractions. Say, for example, we have a over m to the power of n. Okay, then we can actually write them as separate powers on the numerator and the denominator. So be a to the power of n over m to the power of n. Okay, so let's have a look at an example. For example, we have 2 over 5, and we have a square, whole square. So we can write this as 2 squared over 5 squared. And then you can simplify it by writing 2 squared is 4, 5 squared is 25. So the answer is 4 over 25. Let's have a look at another example. So we can have, for example, 3 over 10 cubed. So we can write it as 3 cubed over 10 cubed 
which is the same as writing as 3 cubed is 3 times 3 times 3 is 27. So just you get used to your cubes and square numbers, so it makes you quicker doing the answers. Uh, 10 cubed is 1,000. Okay, so 27 over 1,000. Okay, and this was rule number six. So we have power of fractions. So we got fraction and power. Let's look at our the final rule for indices. So the final rule could we can call it a, a fraction with a negative indices. So we, we are combining the two rules together. So if, for example, we have a to the power of m, sorry, a over m to the power of a negative power. Okay, so a over m to the power of minus n. So we can write it as, now because we have negative power, what we're going to happen is we can actually uh, swap the numerator for denominator. So, and then we can make the power as a positive. So m over a to the power of n. So what I've done is I've changed the power to a positive, but in return, I've changed the, I swap places for the numerator and denominator. Okay, then we can actually follow the rule that we looked at before. So we can write it as m to the power of n over a to the power of n. Okay, let's have a look at an example. Hopefully it will make a bit more sense. So you have 2 over 3 to the power of minus 2. Now our first step is going to be to change the power into a positive power. So you can write just 3 over 2 to the power of 2. Now we can write it as 3 squared over 2 squared. And then 3 squared is 9, and 2 squared is 4. Okay, now if the question asks you to write it in simplest form, you can change it into a mixed number. So that gives us 2 holes 1 quarter. Okay, I uh, hope this video helps you uh, revise indices. Uh, I uploaded the negative numbers video uh, earlier this week. So please do have a look at that if you're not sure about how the negative numbers work, adding and subtracting. Uh, the next video is going to be on estimation. So if you haven't subscribed yet, please do consider subscribing so that you can keep track of these revisions. Okay, so this topic will help you do both foundation and higher. And so I'll just write foundation and higher there so you know what you're covering so if you're doing fire it will also help you okay so next topic is going to be estimation thank you for watching mr mahmood helping you do better in maths